Hi everyone, this is my week video, week six video. Um, first, I'm so sorry I'm sick and um, raspy voice and all. Um, so to start with, the first prompt is uh, my group or duo is working on the policy, um, immigration policy of DACA, uh, which is the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Um, these are, this was put in place by Obama back in 2012 for children that arrived to the United States with their parents undocumented um, and risked deportation after they turned 18. Um, so with this policy, um, they were able to apply for the program to um, delay or defer deportation by engaging in work um, or school or some sort of qualifying um, component um, that would delay their um, deportation and allow them to gain legal um, residency in the United States. Um, currently, it is placed on hold um, as of 2017. Um, so, if they if the youth did not um, apply or qualify at the time of, um, I believe September 2017, um, then they are placed at risk of de deportation and don't have the opportunity to um, join the work field or the school. Um, to gain that legal residency um, under that DACA policy. While reflecting on um, the readings, um, it actually really resonated with me for the fact that as a state employee with child welfare, as well as my current placement with a state agency with um, Oregon Youth Authority, um, there's often policies that contradict social work and um, really allowing work, good work to be done and identifying the root causes and connecting um, as a community. Um, for an example, I, my first day in my placement, I, I started realizing that um, there was no action, big action taken in trying to identify what got the youth that are currently placed in Oregon Youth Authority to where they're at? Um, there was no um, connection to their identities or their families or really they're just who they are. And so uh, I started questioning a lot of um, the paperwork and the interactions that the staff and the um, the QMHPs and admin had with the youth that didn't really connect to why they were there or helping them um, reconnect to who they were or their family ties. Um, or in my child welfare experience, we um, often look at the surface issue and not really dig deeper to what's going on in those family dynamics. Um, for an example, I have a family right now that I'm working with of 13. Um, so it's two parents and uh, 11 children and, um, currently living in poverty, um, receiving state assistance and, um, really just struggling to maintain in the, and, there's many people questioning why we are remaining to keep this this family together and a lot of um conflict amongst employees of the office um but no but everybody's just focusing on the 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 surface stuff as far as the home is dirty the parents are uh, meeting the ki kids needs and not really looking a little bit deeper and what's causing that and what is um the main issue and really having those conversations with the family um so my my goal as a social worker and a professional is to um, question myself and my 
connection to um, the work that I'm doing and um, why I'm doing the work and how we got there and how am I really um, assisting the people that in my community and the population I'm working with as well as question others. Um, it's I think that it's really important to connect it to one another of why we um, entered the field and why we are working with the population we are and um, really question why we are practicing the way that we're practicing. We can, <coughs> we can um, follow, for instance, state policy and telling us how to practice although we need to really be reflecting on why we are responding the way we are responding and act, <coughs> interacting with the families that we are, taking the actions that we are, um, and really connecting to um, the work and the cause of the programs that we are working for and the um, services that we're providing. <coughs> um, in continuing to redirect that focus and question it and talk about it and um, work together along the way. Um, so that will be my plan as a social worker and um, facilitating that. <coughs> um, and I believe that's it. Have a good night.